Look at how thick my boy Copper Jaw is. I I'm so strong. I could. What? What? Can I push you? You know this uh, little um, rain sound is kind of making me cold. It's cold already where I'm at, and it's making me even more cold. The apartment's kind of fresh today, but it is your boy Daddy Mac. Welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are up against Lewis 2000. 2200 who's bringing a really scary team we faced a zero aura last week really fun battle if you guys did not watch last friday's video go do so right now because that battle was absolutely amazing at least i feel like um dracovis is a scary pokemon to see or shifu again um i don't think we have a lot of her shifu um counters right now um he has a really cool team um a little bit scary yes definitely obviously but nothing we can't handle because we're gonna start with a little boy mouse stick here and set up the screens if you guys missed the team builder make sure you guys do so or do so after the video it's up to you guys um also i don't know what i'm saying i don't know what i was gonna say you copy my pose almost my boy except mine's a little bit better because there's the tower of waters behind me and we got rose music because i think rose is the one that uses copper straw right here comes the Snorlax and a Heavy Ball, which is absolutely beautiful. It's a shiny Heavy Ball Snorlax, which is unheard of. All right, so we got our boy Meowstic here. Honestly, we're just going to Thunder Wave. We're not even going to worry about this thing um, doing damage to us. He's probably going to switch out is my prediction right away. Nope. And we miss. We miss. And he is the Belly Drum. This is obviously not good, my boys. He's probably Chesto Berry. No, it's Figgy Berry. It's a Figgy Berry. I know it's a Figgy Berry. You got to be a Figgy Berry. Come on, Figgy Berry. It is okay. That is extremely scary, my boys. I have to reflect. If I don't want to get swept, I have to reflect on. I got to reflect on my past life. I got to reflect on my life. I got to reflect on my decision that I just made after going for the um, for the attack, Darkest Lariat. We're taking it. Okay. That's good news. So, Meowstic, you did your job. I'm going to light screen here. And I think we're just going to Dynamax right off the bat and try to get a sweep going with Copper Jaw. Because he got the Draco Fish in the back, right? He has the Draco Fish. He has the Urshifu. What else do you have in the back that scares me? The Zero Aura. You know what? I think if we go, if we go Copper Jaw right now, we set up a couple of Max Knuckles. We are good to go, my boys. We are 100% good to go. I feel like at least, so check this out. We're gonna max knuckle here. We're gonna try to get at least two max knuckles out. If it's if not, we're gonna try to get two steel spikes out. Wait, what's your G max attack? What what slot? Do, I, no, it takes the steel type, so we can't. We don't have max steel spike. What does your max move even do? I didn't do my research on copper jaw. You guys already know. You guys already know. All right, Gigantamax Copper Jaw with the beautiful cry. Have you guys seen the artwork to the TCG for this thing? It looks absolutely beautiful. All right, Max Knuckle comes out. Not enough to knock out the Snorlax, but we get a plus one. Um, I, it did absolutely nothing to the Snorlax, to be completely honest with you. Heat Crash. What? <laughs> I did not read what it said. That's kind of funny. Steel Surge. Oh, that can be very useful. So we're gonna go for a max knuckle one more time and then go for the steel surge because we get face we basically get free self rocks up we get free self rock up so max knuckle here hopefully it does close to enough to knock this thing out okay and knocks it out so this norlax not an issue not an issue valley drum who valley drum snorlax that's who is going down i'm kind of proud of how we handle the snorlax i know i use dynamax and i know some of you guys hate it but I like it. I like it. Gigantamax or Copper Shot probably is not one to be slept on. Oh, your single trial strike. So we can't even set up the... Oh, we can. We can. Um, Should I? I think it's worth, to be honest. I think it's worth. He's Dynamaxing also. And this all of a sudden gets a little bit scary, to be honest. It gets a little bit scary. Um, I saw my mouse that get my... my, my uh, I like I had a weird moment there, but I saw a Meowstic in the back, which we're gonna utilize to try to get a paralysis on this thing. 
I think it's important. Max Knuckle. Hopefully it doesn't knock out. We got the screens out, my boys. Oh, that does nothing. That does absolutely nothing. This is easy. The, oh, okay, plus one is a little bit scary on our Shifu, but hopefully we do enough to knock it out here. Knock it out. Oh, my boys. We are going to get a Copper Jaw Sweep. I'm calling. It's a crit. I don't think the crit mattered. I'm sorry, but I don't think the crit mattered. I don't think the crit mattered. <laughs> Copper Jaw. I, I like this team all of us. I don't know if I've only used two Pokemon in this team, but I like watch him rage quit. What if he rage quits? He's not gonna rage quit. Okay, he's not like that. Okay. I respect you I, I respect you for not rage quitting. Okay. He still has a bunch of legendaries in the back, which are obviously scary. Um Oh Miasic got he went he went down already. Okay. No biggie, because now um, we don't want to hit it with a we don't want to hit it with that. I think heat crash is the attack here. We're heavy metal, so we're double our weight. Close combat, probably not knocking this out. Oh, Capraja, Capraja, you are so thick, my boy. You are so thick. I can't believe it right now. Is this a, this is almost a Capraja sweep? I don't think we'll be able to get it. This Aurora couldn't stand a chance. You cannot stand a chance against me. Part of me wanted to get the residual recovery and go for the grass, uh, the grassy surge, or no, that's an ability. What am I talking about? The um, max, what is uh, the grass max move? I don't remember the name of it right now, but um, Cinderace will probably do the trick right now. To be honest with you, I'm just gonna superpower. That's it. Pyro Ball is gonna knock us out. I have a really good feeling that it is, and that's okay. It's okay if it knocks us out. Okay. I thought it would knock us out and there it is and um, I got a feeling we go sock I got a feeling we go sock part of me wants to go Cramorant or Flygon but I don't think it's worth it quite yet so I'm gonna go oh this is scary um, I honestly don't know now that now that I think about it I think I go Flygon I go Flygon and just hit the earthquake I think that's the move. Copperja did a lot of damage to his team. It took down in Urshifu, something I really didn't expect, to be honest. I'm just gonna go Earthquake here. I don't think he has any Pokemon that have Levitate, so that's not a that's not a worry to me. He should he should fear this Toy Scar for sure. But he should also fear the uh, Dragon Dance in case I have it, which I absolutely don't. We're Choice Bandit, so we're we're taking something close to down. Celebi, Draco Bish. Okay. I'll take this down, hopefully. No, it'll, it'll probably live. And here's what I'm gonna do next, watch. I'm gonna go into Avalug right now, um, right after this turn here. Yeah, I'm gonna go Avalug. I know it's gonna do a whole lot of damage, but that's why we are impish nature and we're heavily invested in defense, right? To take care of Dracovish, especially because we resist the water type attack. So we got nothing to lose going for the Avalug here, to be honest. Vicious Rend, not very effective, number one. Oh, it's neutral damage, apparently. I didn't know that. That is um, kind of interesting to me. I'm going to recover here. I know Cinderace is probably in the back trying to do some stuff to us, but still. I really thought Ice types um, resisted the water type. I really thought so for some reason. I That's probably old generation, uh, like generation six, if I recall. That's how you know I'm old school. That is how you know I'm old school. It's probably banded now that I think about it. It makes sense that it's banded. All right, Cinderace comes out. And honestly, a Pyro Ball is gonna hurt. I, I, I'll give him that. A Pyro Ball is going to hurt. Cinderace at this point is his win con. What can I do to slow the Cinderace down? I'm gonna recover. I'm gonna try to live an attack and recover here. Please, please, please. Word uh, that should have taken me down to be honest with you. If I were 252 uh, special defensive EVs, I would have gone down, no doubt about it. So, right here, he's gonna rage quit. He rage quit. Okay, so we found another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi Fi battle opponent. His name is Will, also bringing the Draco Vish and the Zamazenta. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. You're gonna make me go against the Zamazenta. 
Yeah, I, I don't blame you. He's probably starting Shuckle out of all things. I'm gonna go Cramorant. And I'm, we're gonna try to do some shenanigans with Cramorant. We're absolutely taking advantage of that. So we're starting Cramorant. We got the Surf. I am excited for this, my boys. Cramorant is gonna get some action, hopefully, assuming he starts with Shuckle. My team's already slow as it is, so I'm not gonna appreciate, number one, I'm not going to appreciate a Stealth Rock. And number two, I'm not gonna appreciate a number, um, not a number, uh, what, what's the, what's it called? Sticky Web. Safari Ball Shuckle. Beautiful. Versus your boy Cramorant. I'm excited. I am excited because I'm, a, I'm gonna hit an agility right off the bat. That's what I'm gonna do. My boys, look at my, look at my derpy boy right here. Can we please, can we please do something with Cramorant? The gods are gonna, the gods are gonna let me do something with Cramorant right here. We're gonna go with Surf. I don't think it's gonna be enough to knock out, but it's gonna do some damage. It's gonna do some damage. Let's see. I'll take that. This thing is absolutely bulky, so I'm gonna take that. You're gonna go Stealth Rock, which I really don't care, to be honest with you. I do not care about any Stealth Rock. And um, we're gonna go with another Surf here. I really wish I had a Pikachu, but obviously we don't have a Pikachu, so it is what it is, as far as the Cramorant's ability activating. We're gonna go Surf again, my boys, and they're not gonna appreciate this at all. Okay, so they're gonna let Shuckle go down here. At least they didn't set up the Sticky Web, which is absolutely good news, because honestly, I can just come in and Rapid Spin um, the Stealth Rock away. All I gotta do is just watch for the opportunity I'll probably bring it in, probably not Zamazenta, but I will probably bring it in against the Draco Bish. And hopefully get a paralysis on the Draco Bish with the body slam. Just just kind of a game plan there for you guys. What you gonna do, Will I am? Will I am? Will I um go into Oh, you're going into the Zero Aura here. I don't think you outspeed, to be honest with you. I don't think you outspeed. I'm gonna hit you with a with the surf anyways. Okay. Watch it knock out. We're modest nature. Can we knock out? No, we don't got the power to do it. Man, that's upsetting. Cramorant's an interesting Pokemon, to be honest. And I wish it got more love. Okay. That's fine. You can hit me with that if you want. And then we're gonna just bet. Boom. We almost knocked it out. The defensive falls for the Zero Aura, which is absolutely beautiful. Okay. Wow, double knockout. My guys, that's technically a knockout for Cramorant there. What a beauty. Um Dracovish is probably gonna come out. Part of me wants to go Avalug here. So I'm gonna go Avalug. I'm really saving oh Zamacenta comes out. This is not a matchup I wanted, to be honest. So I think we let Avalug go down, unfortunately, right? That's the play. Dauntless Shield. Rightfully so. Oh, the sticky web did get set up. Then is it the stealth rock? It's both of them. We still have to rapid spin here. I think it's absolutely crucial. Flash cannon, so it's special. We're going down because we're not. We have no investment in special attack whatsoever. So yeah, my boys, this is not good. Um, this is not good at all. I kind of want to go flygon, but first I'm gonna go meow stick. I'm gonna go Meow Stick. Hopefully this thing tries to hit me with a with a um, a physical type attack. Because I'm gonna go for the uh, reflect here. I'm gonna go reflect. We're prankster, so we're gonna outspeed no matter what. And then I'm gonna try to hit this thing with the charm and get the heck out of here. That's that's the plan. That is the plan. I can't believe he's bringing the Zamazenta. That's kind of I'm I'm a little bit salty about it to be honest. I'm a little bit salty. Flash cannon again. Okay, we can take it right. We're taking that like a champ too. All right, and then a thunder wave here And then um, I don't think we get out of here quite yet because um, we got the flygon in the back and Flygon probably gonna be able to take this thing out fingers crossed Fingers crossed that it does. Oh, that's what I'm talking about because now We can go into flygon and we can save meow stick for later I really wish I could have gotten a rapid spin out. I was not expecting for this thing to be special, to be honest. If Dracovich wants to come out, so be it. I mean, we got a reflect up, so we should be able to take at least an attack from it. 
Uh, at least I hope. Um, we'll see. You're paralyzed again. That's what you get for using Zamazenta. I'm gonna hit you with an Earthquake. I don't think he had any more um, Flying-type Pokemon or any Levitate Pokemon in the back, so... I'll take the damage given that you're at plus one. And you're paralyzed My boys! My boys! Okay. All right, so I'm gonna predict the switch now. And we're gonna go back into Meowstic and get a Paralysis, this time on the Corviknight. Either Corviknight or whatever wants to come in. Whatever wants to come in. Get switch out of here. Please switch out of here. Don't make me regret this. Don't make me regret this. I was hoping Corviknight. I was hoping Corviknight. Okay, so um, we have to let you go down, unfortunately. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just hit the light screen here. I really, really, really wish that um, he switched out because that matters a little bit. I let Meowth to go down for no reason. For absolutely no reason. Now, Copper Jaw is going to suffer a lot. I should have gone to Copper Jaw originally. That was the switch. That was the switch right there. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna go Copper Jaw here. We're gonna Dynamax. We're gonna Dynamax here and then we're just gonna call it a sweep. Watch, check this out. We're gonna go Max Knuckle because we need the plus one for sure. We need the plus one. Um, I assume that at a plus one, we'll be able to knock out the Corviknight with the Max Flare. And then he has the Corviknight in the back, Dracovish and the uh, Dragapult, which are really big threats. They're huge threats to me. All right, Copper Jaw comes out again. Max HP Copper Jaw right there, 458. Focus Blast miss. Yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, Max Knuckles gonna knock this thing out. For some reason, I thought this thing was fairy, but that's Zycian that's fairy, right? I believe it is. I believe it is. Okay, Zamazenta goes down. And then maybe Corviknight comes in? If Corviknight comes in, I'm not gonna mind it whatsoever. My mom is calling me. I wonder why. I'll give her a call back. Fred comes out. Who's Fred? Fred the Corviknight. This is a good matchup for us because you know why? We're gonna max flare here. And that's gonna weaken. That's gonna. That's actually good news. Even if you Dynamax, you're going down. Even if you Dynamax, you have to go down. You're probably outspeed us, yes, but you're still probably gonna go down. This is, I think this is my last turn of Reflect. I think this is the last turn of Reflect. This team is a little better than I thought it would be, to be honest. Max Knuckle, that's perfectly fine by me. We should be able to take it. Easy. We're taking it easy, my boys. And then Max Flare is gonna knock this Corviknight out and it's, um, I believe it's gonna be GG or close to GG. Boom, knock it out. No, this thing is bulky too. I can't underestimate the Corviknight, to be honest. Um, I think Max Flare is the next attack that we go to. Okay, I thought that was weakness policy for a second. <laughs> I got scared. Okay, Reflect goes off. And I think Max Flare is still the best attack we have to go to. No doubt about it. Max Knuckle, gonna do a little bit more than last time, given that he's at plus one. And we should be able to take one more. Okay, I will take that. I will take that. The Pokemon I fear is the Dracovish out of the three Pokemon remaining. My, now Marina's calling me. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. What is next? If Dracovish comes out, it's a wrap. It's a wrap because all I got to do is click, um, I don't know. Bert, what? That's, that's a terrible name. That is the worst name you can come up on the Dracovish. That is kind of messed up. That is kind of messed up. Um, Power Whip? I think Power Whip is the attack, right? Or heavy slam it's not very effective so no superpower i'm gonna go power whip here we're gonna go power vicious red isn't gonna do anything to us <laughs> i'm sorry what i what was that about vicious friend we lost this battle because of that that's upsetting that is highly upsetting very very upsetting stop scratching my shoe cat go over there Go over there. Okay. I think we bulk up and then close combat. We have to try. 
We have to try. They keep blowing up my phone. What's so important? I'll give them a call back in a little bit. Okay, so it didn't pop our sturdy, but it popped our um, salad berry, which is huge. And we go bulk up here. And we should be able to outspeed this thing moving forward. Hopefully we knock it out. We're at him in nature. So hopefully. I'm going to go close combat. You still outspeed me? It's a wrap. It is a wrap. It's a wrap. Wow. Your scarf, jolly nature. That's what it has to be right there. Flygon's done. Flygon is done. It's a wrap. Um, we're g we have to Dragon Claw. That's our best attack. But even at that, we're going to get outsped. Vicious Rend is going to knock us out. And it's a wrap, my boys. What was that? I lost to Will. I'm salty. I'm salty because I choked. I am so salty right now. That's going to be it for this Wi-Fi battle. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. The Cramorant action was probably my favorite part, to be honest with you guys. But make sure you guys leave a like. Comment down below on your vote for the most valuable Pokemon in this battle. And subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. It's your boy Daddy Max signing off. I'll see you guys next time.